Hi there church, my name is Sarah Snelson and I am the North Area Pastor. Thanks for joining me today as we continue with our This Audacious Life devotions. And I'm just going to start by reading you a couple of uh, verses from the Bible. So Luke 4, 42 to 43 says, Early the next morning, Jesus went out to an isolated place. The crowd searched everywhere for him. And when they finally found him, they begged him not to leave them. But he replied, I must preach the good news of the kingdom of God in other towns too, because that is why I was sent. Romans 12, 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good pleasing and perfect will. So we've been uh, looking at this audacious life and over the last few weeks we have been exploring what it is to live an audacious life and finding out more about who we follow. So Jesus lived the ultimate audacious life and as a church we're not looking at building a culture or lifestyle around an organisation but we are building our lives and culture around a kingdom and a king, Jesus. And like just as we've seen, he lived the ultimate audacious life. He was fiercely, fearlessly devoted. He was fiercely determined. He was seriously fun and he was wildly authentic. And as we've looked into those others, we are now going to be finding out what it is to be wildly authentic. And I would encourage you just to have a journal ready to answer some questions this week and jot down your thoughts as well as, you know, trying to grab a few minutes maybe to to rewatch the preach that's available on YouTube. Let's make this season one of our greatest yet as we learn more of what it is to be a follower of Jesus. So what is it to be authentic? Well, authentic means real, true, genuine, not a copy and true to what people say it is. One definition puts it like this, made or done in the traditional or original way or in a way that faithfully resembles an original. Wow. Read this again and let it permeate your thinking and feelings. Romans 12, 2 says, do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 follows by saying that if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone. The new is here. So my thought for you today, church, is that Christ is our original and we are new creations in him. We are made in a way to faithfully resemble him. So think on that for a moment and ask yourself a question. Do I faithfully resemble Christ? Because to live wildly authentic is to live like Jesus. Love you, church. See you tomorrow.